Hello, good evening. Good night. How are you? I am fine. And you? Very good. Are you better now? I feel so much better now. <laughs> okay, that's good. Yeah. Yes, yes, because it's not pleasant to be sick. No. <laughs> mm -hmm. Into work is no better. Yeah, imagine working and sick. <laughs> yes, what you need to do is speak, speak constantly. <laughs> okay, people, it's good to see you one more night in one more class. Uh, today is our class number five, right? Class number five. And today we are going to be talking about the following. Time for a change. That's the name of the section three, time for a change. Today is Tuesday, May 30th, uh, 2023. Tuesday, May 30th, 2023. And we have two objectives for this class. I need two volunteers to read the class objectives. Two volunteers, okay. Yep. I am, I am here. Blanca and Glendy. Yep. The first objective, Blanca. The second objective, Glendy. Go ahead, please. Okay. By the end of this class, you will learn how to express your opinions about houses and apartments. Additionally, you will be able to describe your house or apartment in English and use evaluating Phrases such as apartments are too small for pets, houses are too expensive, or houses cost too much money. Thank you, Blanca. Glendy, you're next. In this lesson? In this lesson, practice comparing houses and apartments to express similarities or differences. Additionally, learn how to use expression of valid quantity, like just as, enough, or too much, to modify adjectives and nouns, for example, just as comfortable and too few closet. Thank you, thank you so much, Glendy. Okay, so today we're gonna have like a very interesting class because we're going to learn these phrases. Uh, these phrases such as too and also too much, as and as, just as, enough, etc. So we're gonna have a lot of things to learn this evening. So we're gonna start with recalling previous knowledge, then evaluations and comparisons. Activity three is practice. I forgot to put it here. And activity four is wrap up. Okay, before we start, I need to take the attendance, okay? So please remember to say present or to say here when I mention your name. Okay, just give me a moment. I'm looking for the list. Um, let me see. The first person is Adriana Gretel Gonzalez. Adriana Gretel Gonzalez. Is she in the class? Okay, I guess no. Ana Silvia Rodriguez de Funes. I'm here. Okay, Blanca Guadalupe Benavides. Here, I am teacher. Thank you. Blanca Margarita Guevara. Present. Thank you. Brian Hyberson. Present. Thank you, Brian Escobar. David Alonso Mejia. Present. Thank you, David. Esaú Tobar. Present. Esaú Evelyn Janet Marroquín. Francisco Alexander Villafuerte. Present teacher. Okay, Francisco, we missed you yesterday. Uh, I... 
Really, uh, I stood in a class ayer. You were in the class yesterday? Yes. Oh, yes, right? Oh, yes, Francisco, you were in the class. It was Emily who was not in the class yesterday. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, she was actually. Uh, Glendy Elisette Flores. Present. Uh, Giselle Marie Hernandez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Iris Janet Martinez. Iris? Isaura Evelia Vázquez. Present, teacher. Mariana Manmos. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, Jairo. Josué Miguel Portillo. Hi. Present. Jos oh, Josué Miguel, we can barely hear you. Karen Elizabeth Bernal. Present, teacher. Thank you. Karen Ibel Villanueva. Not present. Can Kenia Vanessa Corbera Portillo. Mm -hmm. Leslie Victoria Morán Mirón. I'm here. Thank you, Leslie. Luis Ariana Guerra. Mayra Patricia Pérez. Nerlin Jaciel Flores Reyes. Nerlin Jaciel Flores. I see you're there, but I need to hear your voice. Ninrop Saúl Guzmán. Nubia Cristina Morales. Present. Ren Thank you. Oscar Alexander Santana. Present, teacher. Renato Salvador Ramírez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Ruth Noemí Beltrán Sánchez. Present teacher. Thank you, Ruth. Jenny Carolina Arbon. Present teacher. <laughs> okay. Great. Thank you, people, for connecting on time. So, as I was telling you, teacher, the first activity we are going to study. Well, we are going to study uh, comparisons and evaluations today. So we're going to start with an activity about um, opposites, opposite adjectives. For example, if I tell you what is the opposite of new? All. All. Exactly. All. What is the opposite of small? Big. Big. What is the opposite of a convenient? Inconvenient. Inconvenient. Exactly. Comfortable. Uncomfortable. 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 Great. So over here, can you see the screen? Yeah. Yes. Okay. So here we have very, very, very easy. Adjectives. So you're going to help me to uh, put the opposite adjective in the correct form. Uh, clean. Dirty. 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 Okay. Dirty and clean. Okay. What is the opposite of large? Small. 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 Okay. Beautiful. Ugly. 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 Dark. 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 Uncomfortable. Comfortable. 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 The opposite of cold. Warm. 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 How's the weather today? Warm or cold? Warm. 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 Cold. Cold. It depends. It depends where you are, right? It yes. depends on where you are. Yes. Yes, okay. it's still today. Yeah. Tidy. 
Messi. 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 Cheap. Okay. Cheap. Eggs are now cheap or expensive? The eggs. It's too expensive now. Expensive. The eggs are too expensive now. Yes. Well, all the food. All, all the food is too expensive now. <laughs> okay. Economy is too bad. Yeah, I have the solution. Um, don't, eat. <laughs> don't, don't eat. Don't, don't eat. eat. <laughs> okay, great. Now let's go over the other the other game with opposites. We have another one. Okay, in this we have to match. Can you see the screen, guys? No, I don't. See. No, teacher, I don't see. You don't see the screen. Can you see? Yes, I can see the screen. Oh, yes. yes, I can yes. see. Yes, I can see. Yes. Okay. I can see. Now, this, we need to find the pair, okay, and match the adjective with their opposite. I'm gonna start with the first one here. This is. Start. Oh, oh. Large. okay. What is the opposite of all? New. 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 <laughs> what is the opposite of stupid? Intelligent. Intelligent. Smart. Intelligent is. Oh. Ah. New. New. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, we got it. Okay, we got. Oh, all and new. Oh, what is the opposite of all? Beautiful. 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 Uh, the opposite of fast. Slow. 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 Okay. Oh, we had boring. Interesting. Funny. Happy. Okay. Snow. Snow. Snow is and in the corner. Long and fast. Right? <laughs> okay. Oh, expensive and cheap. 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 Yes. I don't have a good memory. <laughs> what is the opposite of fat? Oh. Tall. Tall in the corner is short. This one? Short. short. Yes. Yeah, the first. Yeah, you good memory, Jenny. Okay. See? Oh. In, in the Fine. corner, down, oh. no, no, pues no, no, no. Fat and thin, fat and thin. <laughs> oh, intelligent. Intelligent, stupid. It's finished. Uh -huh. Finally, yes. it's intelligent. Oh, cheap. Expensive. 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 That's right, cheap and expensive. And we have interesting. Warm. Warming. Beautiful. Beautiful. Ugly. Yeah, beautiful and ugly. Okay, so cute, right? Very cute. Finally, interesting and boring. boring. Okay, boring. So that was the warm up, guys, to uh, start thinking about adjectives. Okay, this is just a warm up to start thinking about adjectives. Now we're going to. Mm -hmm. Okay, just give me a moment. I'm going to share the screen with you. I don't know where you are, people. Okay, you are here. Okay, let me share the screen. The screen, the screen is this. Okay, so we learn about the opposites. Today's topic is evaluations and comparisons. 
okay, we tend to evaluate things and compare things and we, are, we have, we can do it with adjectives and we can do evaluations in comparison with nouns. Okay, over here we have evaluations with adjectives. Apartments aren't big enough for families. For families. Apartments are too small for pets. So if you notice, we are using the verb to be, we are using the adjectives and the expressions that we learned yesterday, not enough or too small. Comparisons, we have the expressions as, as, or not as, as, just as, as. Houses aren't as convenient as apartments. Houses are just as convenient as apartments. So as, as is to, to say they is similar. Okay, they are similar. Now we can do evaluations in comparisons too, but with nouns. Apartments don't have enough parking spaces. Houses cost too much money. Again, we have the, the same expressions, right? Not enough, too much. But in this case, we don't use the verb to be because they are not adjectives, they are nouns. Parking spaces and money. So we use the verb in this case, we have the verb have and cost. Apartments don't have enough parking spaces. Houses cost too much money. And to compare, we say apartments have just as many rooms as houses. We are not using an adjective, we are using nouns, rooms and houses. Apartments don't have as much privacy as houses. The noun here is, what is the noun? Privacy. 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 Yes, so we have here parking spaces, money, rooms, privacy, nouns, they are nouns. And over here we have adjectives, enough, sorry, big, small, convenient. Okay, um, have it here in a more simple way. Evaluations and comparisons with adjectives, use the verb to be with adjectives. Examples, buses in El Salvador aren't, what is the adjective? Safe. Safe, exactly. Safe. Buses in El Salvador aren't safe enough. True or false? Very true. true. False. True. <laughs> it's true, right? They aren't safe enough. They are dangerous. Uh, they are dangerous because sometimes the drivers, the, the way the drivers drive, right? They they drive very fast or very dangerously, <laughs> or because yes. or because of the people, right? The people can steal your things, your cell phone. <laughs> okay, now next, the new houses are too small for big families. True or false? True. 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 Right. The new houses are too, True. Small. <laughs> too small for big families. And this is another example. Those skirts are too short to wear at work, right? Mini skirts. Mini, mini skirts are too short to wear at work. So don't wear mini skirts, please. <laughs> okay, so as you notice, we are using adjectives, right? What are the adjectives? Hey, 
teacher. Small, small shark. Shark. Shark is small and safe. And we are using the verb to be, right? Plural form in this case. Aren't enough. Are too small for big families. Are too short. Now, this is the first three sentences are I'm evaluating, making an evaluation. Now, to make a comparison, to compare, I'm going to compare here what things I am comparing. I am comparing two things. Bicycle and motorcycle. That's correct. Bicycles and motorcycles. So I will say, bicycles aren't as fast as motorcycles. True or false? False. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the motorcycle is too fast. Yes. Yeah, it's that's true. True. Bicycles aren't as fast as motorcycles. Motorcycles are faster. Okay, in the second sentence, what am I comparing? Tomatoes and eggs. Yes. Tomatoes are just as expensive as eggs. Yes. 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 The same price today, I bought six tomatoes for one dollar. And I think and it's the same price. Eggs. Five or six eggs same. for one dollar. Right? So tomatoes are just as expensive as eggs. They are. The same, the same price, around the same price. And look at the, this other example. Using cars is not as cheap as using public transportation. True or false? True. 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 Using cars or driving your car is very expensive <laughs> because of the gas, right? <laughs> so using like cars is not as cheap as using public transportation. So using public transportation is cheaper. It's cheaper. It's cheaper, but not safe. Yeah, that's correct. That's correct. <laughs> Somebody took a picture of me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just let me know because sometimes I have funny faces. <laughs> Okay, so you can see here, I have, what are the adjectives in the comparisons? Fast, fast, expensive, expensive, and cheap. That's correct. Now, evaluations and comparisons with nouns. With nouns, we use... Other verbs. Not the verb to be. Another bear. For example, this house doesn't have as many bedrooms as the last apartment. So what it means? What happens with the last apartment? When they are big, more big. Uh -huh. The last apartment. Apartment it, it, is more small. Bedrooms. bedrooms. Uh -huh. The last apartment. It means that the last apartment has more. More. So. More bedrooms, right? Because it says this house doesn't have as many bedrooms as the last apartment we saw. So the last apartment has more bedrooms than this house, okay? This is comparison. This is a comparison. I'm comparing this house with an apartment. Okay, another example. Houses have just as many rooms as apartments. 
This is an example. Houses have just as many rooms as apartments. It can it it means that houses and apartments have the same number of rooms. Another example. Apartments don't have as much privacy as houses. True or false? True. True. It's true. true. That is true. Yeah, because you have neighbors next door, you have neighbors above you, below you. <laughs> so apartments don't have as much privacy as houses. Another example, it has just as many bathrooms as the last apartment. It, it means that they have the same quantity, the same quantity of bathrooms. Oops. So these are with nouns. With nouns, uh, we use other verbs like have. In this case, I just use have. And in the previous picture, the previous slide, we have this, we had, <clears throat> the examples, right? The same, apartments don't have enough parking spaces, houses cost too much, we can use too much and not enough. And to, come to make an evaluation, and to make a comparison, this expression, just as many as, as much as. Okay. I don't have here an example with evaluation. Pardon me, I'm going to make one example. At least one. But you can, can you see the screen? No. No. No, I can't. Oh, not yet, not yet. No, I can't to see. And now? Mm. Yes. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. yes teacher. Okay, let's make an evaluation of the cell phone, Samsung. Can you help me? The cell phone Samsung is has better than another. Okay, in this case, we are gonna make an evaluation only of the Samsung. No, we're comparing. We're just making an evaluation, and um, and with other verbs, not the verb to be. For example, I can say uh, cell has a good camera. Okay, Samsung cell phones have. Aha! Uh -huh, but remember, yes. uh, we are gonna use not enough or too much. Mm -hmm. Not enough or too much. Well, let's say this this one. Samsung cell phones cost too much. Too much. That could be the memory, the memory space, or they have expensive. They have en enough, or they don't have. Just an example, right? Enough. They don't have enough a space enough for many apps. I'm gonna change the Samsung for Alcatel. Alcatel cell phones or Alcatel phones then have a space enough 
for mini apps. Okay. So I'm using here too much. And enough. And the verb is cost and hat. Mm -hmm. Good. So guys, now I have another activity for you. In this activity, you have to rewrite the opinions using the word in parentheses. For example, Toyota or Toyota has only two doors. Just imagine, imagine you're going to you're going to buy a new car. Okay, and you have two options, Toyota and Audi. So we have here, Toyota has only two doors, Audi is too expensive, Toyota is uncomfortable enough. Toyota is too old and Toyota is not spacious. So what are we going to do? We are going to rewrite the sentences and we are gonna use the word in parentheses. For example, Toyota has only two doors. How can we change uh, this? We can say Toyota doesn't have enough doors. Okay, great, very good. Enough doors, excellent. Toyota doesn't have enough doors. I need four doors. Audi is too expensive. So we can say Audi. Remember the opposites. Audi is not cheap. Not cheap. Not, not, not cheap. cheap. Enough. Enough. Excellent. Excellent. Jenny. Audi is not cheap enough. I love this Audi car, but it's not cheap enough. I cannot pay, right? I cannot afford. <laughs> it's not possible. <laughs> okay. Now, Toyota is uncomfortable enough. Mm -hmm. Toyota. Maybe Toyota is comfortable exactly the opposite the opposite is too uncomfortable it's too uncomfortable yeah that's why i did the activity about the opposites because we were going or we were going to use them here okay what about toyota is too old Toyota is a new has has new models. New, no, enough. Toyota is no new enough. New, no, no. Francisco, Toyota is not new enough. Enough. I need a newer a newer car, right? And finally, Toyota is not spacious. Toyota don't have too small. So much. Toyota is too so much. too much spaces. Small. Okay, it's too small. 
Yeah, the opposite of spacious. Mm -hmm. So you see, guys, how it works. How it works. You need to. Um. You need to think of the opposites, right? Mm -hmm. It could be it's too small or too tight, right? Too tight. Like apretado, too tight. It's not like a spacious car. Mm -hmm. Do you have any questions, guys? We need more practice, right? Or more examples. Here we have more examples. In okay, we use enough plus nouns. A count or non count, but we use too much before a non count noun. We use as many as plus a count noun and as much as a before a noun count noun. We have to be careful with that. For example here, houses don't have enough closets, okay? Enough closets. Apartments cost too much money because money is uncount now. My new app doesn't have as many functions as the old. In this case, it's a count now, right? Functions. My new app doesn't have as many functions as the old. Many functions, functions is count now. As much as plus uncount now. The food today doesn't have as much and what is the uncount now? Nutrition. The food today doesn't have as much nutrition as before. Mm -hmm. To compare and to evaluate. Now guys, it's your turn. It's your turn to practice. So we have, imagine you are looking for a house or apartment to rent. Read the two ads. We have two ads, um, a spacious and modern house, a small, older apartment. Rewrite the opinions using the words in parentheses. So we are gonna do it together, okay? We're gonna use the chat and we're gonna go over the first. In the number one, it says, there are only a few windows. And the word in parentheses is not enough. Enough. Aha. Uh -huh. So let's read the apps. Aquí me ayuda. Who can help me to read the first app? Uh, Margarita? A spacious modern house, three bedrooms, one bathroom, very private. Pri private. How oh, private? Thank you. Locate. Uh, uh, I don't know. How. Located. Located. Located in quiet suburb. Two car garage. And wait. Nine hundred fifty per month. Yes, it's right, Margarita. Thank you. Thank okay. You. The other app. Me. Ruth. Okay, Ruth. Thank you. A small older apartment, two bedroom, one bathroom, located downtown, convenient to the subway, one parking space, and fifty hundred per per month. Five hundred. Five hundred per month. Okay, 500 per month, thank you. Yes, can you imagine? They are very expensive. <laughs> okay, uh, so let's write, uh, you can see the example here. 
there are only a few windows in this in this house. So using not enough is there aren't enough windows. Using not enough, there aren't enough windows. Okay, what about the number two? It's not bright enough. Okay, let's use the chat. How would you make it? How would you use two? It's not bright enough. It's two. What's the opposite of bright? Dark. Ah, okay, it's too dark. Yes, excellent. Okay, number three. It has only one bathroom. It, it doesn't have not enough. It doesn't have enough enough bathroom. Exactly, doesn't have enough bathrooms. It doesn't have because it's only it's one, right? It doesn't it doesn't have enough bathrooms. It has only one bathroom. Because my family is big. <laughs> you need more than one bathroom. <laughs> okay, number four. It's not convenient enough. You have to use two. It's too inconvenient. Exactly. It's not, no, it's too. It's too inconvenient. Mm -hmm. It's, it's too inconvenient. Remember it's two plus the, the adjective. Two plus the adjective. Okay, and number five. People use the chat, participate in the chat. In number five, it's not spacious enough. It's too small. It's too small. Excellent. It's too small. Okay, number six. It's too old. It's, um, it's an is enough. New. New. It's not new. Enough. Enough. It's not new enough. And number seven, it isn't safe enough. It isn't safe enough. It's too dangerous now. It's too dangerous. That's correct. It's too dangerous. Okay, number eight. There's only one parking space. It's not parking space. It's a <clears throat> not, not parking enough. Parking space. Mm -hmm. Enough. <laughs> There's the, remember X, X in singular. 
So the stairs not let's not there's not enough there's not enough one parking space exactly there's not enough parking space there's not enough parking space mm -hmm. okay guys so i guess we need a little bit more of a practice right i know i don't know if you have done this exercise in the platform no you haven't not yet not yet okay but this week you have to work on the section on this section right section three yeah before thursday so tomorrow you gotta work on this okay before thursday Good. So guys, um, I'm gonna write here in, in the chat. I will write the expressions and you guys try to make a sentence. Try to make a sentence using that expression, okay? The expression, the first one is not enough. Not enough. Okay, try to make a sentence using not enough. Okay, Isaura, my sleep is not enough for my health. Or you can also say, I don't sleep enough. There's not enough money for the party. Okay, excellent, Francisco. I love your examples, people. Kenya Vanessa, okay, Kenya Vanessa. I'm gonna have it in this moment. Kenya Vanessa, por Por Vera, por tío. ¿Alguien más que haya entrado tardecito? Mi yo, teacher. Yo. Yeah. Yeah. Mi teacher. Nubia Cristina, ok, it's here. Luisa Ariana. Luisa Mi teacher. Ariana. Ok, Luisa. Karen Villanueva. Karen y Beth. Ariana Gretel. Ok. Saúl Guzmán. Saúl Guzmán Mejía. Ok, Mayra Patricia is in the class. No. It is Janet Martínez. Ok, Evelyn Janet Marroquín. En Adriana Gretel González. Here. Here. Oh, Adriana. Ok, thank you. Okay, so three absences today. Emily, Grace, and Mayra. Huh? Thank you. Your examples. Uh, my house is not, okay, Mar Margarita, en ese caso sería, my house is not quiet enough. It's not quiet enough. The adjective is in the middle. It's not quiet enough. There is not enough time for doing the chores. There's not enough silence, silence, root. Time when I go out with my friends is not enough. Play video games all night is not enough for me, to me, it's not enough to me. Playing video games, Brian Escobar. You love playing video games, Brian. Um, it doesn't have enough space for children. The soda is not enough for the meeting, for the meeting. There's not enough coin for change. Coffee is not enough in the morning. There aren't enough money. There isn't. Money is some count now. There isn't enough money for buying a car. The time to get to work is not enough. Okay. Now use two 
please use two. is too much for me. I have my example, size nine in shoes, right? It's too big for me. There's too much pollution in El Salvador. The time to get to work is not, it's too enough. No, I see no too enough, sino diría, Renato. The time to get to work is not enough is correct. It's too dark in the night or at night. It's too boring to go to the bank. It's <laughs> that's true. The study math is too boring for me. <laughs> okay. It's too late to do the homework. It's too late to do the homework. I'm too exhausted to go out, okay. <laughs> okay, now guys, make examples with using as many as. Or using as and as. Comparing, comparing as and as. It's, it's too stressful to stay in traffic. That's correct, Jose Miguel. You can use as many as or as much as. For example, teachers don't earn as much as engineers. By teacher. Teachers, quería decir teachers. Teachers don't earn as much money as politicians. <coughs> right? This car doesn't have as many as, as much space, sería Francisco, as much a space as the truck, but I like your comparison. Houses have as much liberty as an apartment. Remember to use as in as. Green mangoes are as, as delicious, are as a, Rip mangoes. My computer has as much space as my cell phone. You creo que eso quería decir, Brian. My computer, you wanted to say that. My computer has as much space 
ask my cell phone. Mm, we have more. This country doesn't have as much. Okay, in that case, Francisco is many because jungles is count as many <laughs> jungles as other countries. El Salvador, compare El Salvador in other countries. El Salvador doesn't have as many or as much territory as other countries as Russia, for example. <laughs> El Salvador doesn't have as much territory as, oh, sorry, as others. I forgot to erase as other, I erase. The, my cell phone, the mangoes aren't as delicious as the Japanese marañones, <laughs> cashews. In December, the vacations are as funny as the August vacation. Remember to use both as and as. I don't make as much money as I should, okay, Nubia? <laughs> My internet isn't as fast as NASA's internet. Okay, great example. Um, the night run is as good as the Puma brand. Okay, Sara, the night run is as good as Puma brand. El Salvador is as beautiful as another country. And in negative, I will write El Salvador is not as big as Mexico. Right, Mexico is bigger. El Salvador is not as big as Mexico. The pupusas are Okay, so in that case, you are saying that pupusas are more delicious than tacos, but in this case, we are comparing in the same level. Or maybe you can say pupusa or tacos, tacos, tacos are not as delicious as pupusas. So pupusas are more delicious. My house don't have as much privacy as the last house, okay? Another example, chocolate is as bad for you as soda, right? <sighs> yes, Isaura, we don't have class tomorrow. We don't have class tomorrow as the other days, just as the other days. <laughs> so we don't have class tomorrow, okay. Good. Okay, people, so tell me, what did you learn in this class? What did you learn in this class? To make evaluations and comparisons. Exactly. Using uh, adjectives or using nouns, right? 
using nouns or using adjectives. With adjectives, we use the verb to be. With nouns, we use other verbs like have, cost, or others as you were writing in the example, okay? Well, guys, I hope that you can continue practicing in the platform. You will find more uh, practice, more exercises. And well, that was the class for today. Uh, do you have any other comment or question? Not for me. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Okay, guys, I know you're excited. I hope that you have a good evening, a good night. I want to say that. I, I hope you have a good night, really that you can nice. rest very well. And that we can see do, we can see together on Thursday. Okay? See you on Thursday. Okay, see so you. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.